Hello everybody, John Brewer here. This is a companion video to the Introduction to Missiles video in my Large Ship Combat 101 series. To help viewers get started on building and playing with missiles, I created a small Space Engineers world out of the test range that I used to make this week's video. I just wanted to show you how to uh, quickly build and use missiles. Assembling missiles in this test lab is basically a matter of choosing from these pre-built components and copying and pasting them into a spacecraft. I call the missile system the 75LH missile standard. Uh, each component is 75, uh, 7 5 meters across, hence the 75. Black components are engine and maneuvering parts, white components are guidance and timing parts, and red components are payload. Uh, the top row are parts with heavy armor, or 75LH uh, parts, and the bottom row are components with light armor, or 75L parts. Uh, if we turn around, we see a blue launch platform. Uh, each of those bays is a gravity-assisted launcher. And down at the end of the range, we see that big red Nervous Gamma light carrier. Uh, that will serve as the target for our missiles. If I turn on the overlay here, you see there are two target beacons down at the end of the range there. If you want to replace that carrier with your own target vessel. Uh, you just place it between those two target beacons and these two launch bays should be aligned on whatever target you put down there. Now as a quick example I'm going to build two uh, quick and easy missiles out of this just to demonstrate how the system works. So the first missile I'm going to build is basically what we saw in the uh, lecture video this week. I'm going to grab one of these quintuple thruster modules. I'm going to rotate that and place it into the bay. I'm going to grab one of these light armored explosive warhead modules. Uh, and I'm going to come down here. And I'm just going to paste that right onto the front of the missile there. Now this is so simple it doesn't actually have an external control panel so I'm going to drop a control panel on it and what we're going to do is open up that control panel we're going to go to the quin thruster we're going to turn them on and away it goes. So that missile will go down and it will impact the carrier at the end of the test range. Yep, and there we got a nice hit. Okay, I'm going to do one more missile that shows off the guidance system, uh, because that actually requires you to do a few tasks with the missile before you launch it. So once again, I'm going to grab a quin thruster here. I'm going to drop it into the launch bay there. I'm going to grab a guidance package. Now what this guidance package is, is it's actually a set of gyros and sensors uh, that will navigate the missile. And I didn't align that cr properly, so I'm just going to pull that out. Yep. And if you have not seen these uh, before, you can go watch my uh, guided drone video. Uh, I did a tutorial on how to build these packages. Now we're also going to put a timer block in here. There we go. And we're going to put another ring of maneuvering thrusters. Oh, no, let's grab the correct. There we go. There we go. And that will provide uh, maneuvering authority once the missile is in flight. And we're going to go drop 
a payload on the front of this missile. Now, the unfortunately, copying and pasting these together won't automatically hook up the sensors, so that has to be done somewhat manually. Uh, the sensors themselves are actually connected to the gyros, as they're supposed to be. But the timer is not set up yet. So what we're going to want to do is tell the timer to turn on the ring thrusters when it activates, turn on the sensors. Uh, we definitely do not want to turn on all the gyroscopes, otherwise we'll have all kinds of problems. We're going to set that to, say, 10 seconds into flight. We'll start that timer. And we'll start the quin thruster. You'll note that this weighs considerably more. It has much worse pickup. Up oh, and there we just watched the thrusters and the sensors come online as the timer did its job. And we'll just take this missile and we'll watch it fly into the carrier as I wrap up this video. This workshop is available on this, or this uh, lab, I should say, is available on the Steam Workshop. You can download it. There should be a link in the description below. I hope that it gives you an opportunity to... Oh, that was cool. It actually picked up some of the debris that's floating out here from previous carriers I destroyed. Yeah, it's coming around. Is it going to be able to make its second pass? I'd actually be a little surprised if it could. It was going quite quickly when it passed the uh, carrier there. But yes, yeah, certainly there's a great deal of uh, material that we're going to cover in the future with missiles. We need to do launcher systems. We need to do thwarting missile defenses. We need to do affecting missile defenses on your ships. And all that will be in future videos. The goal of this lab is really just to give you an opportunity to quickly and easily mess around with various missiles that uh, that otherwise might be something of a pain to create yourself. Okay, and I think that that's a miss. Yep. Yep, that is definitely a miss. Okay, well, we'll cover that in a future video. Until then, I'm John Brewer. Come and learn from my mistakes. Oh, come back.